Hello friends, welcome to another installment of Intuitive Information, an oracle reading where I read the Iris Oracle deck and tell you about the most relevant messages and information uh, from the spirits, from the ancestors that will help you through this week. So, these have already been shuffled. Prayers have been sent up. Blessings have come down. Let's take a look. Card number one. Mm. Green. Oh, this card just makes me smile. Every time. The sense that I'm getting is a feeling of space being protective of your time. How much time do you spend um, unnecessarily stressing out over things you can't control? This would be the week to maintain your distance in a very intentional way. Um, protect your time. Be careful with all the input that you're receiving and the types of input that you are receiving. Number two is... Stay back. Hmm. What is changing in your life right now that you feel the need to, whoa, whoa, trying to put on the brakes? Change on its way here. We are barreling towards it. It's the like increased worldwide anxiety, depression. What's happening outside is always what is happening on the inside. As above, so below. Avoid conflict. Conflict avoiding people. Keep doing what you do. This is your time. <laughs> Everybody else. Uh, learn how to take some deep breaths. Remember that the person on the other side of um, the angry email. Wouldn't you move a little bit differently through your day if you knew that every person you met was suffering? It's easy to forget, especially when you're currently suffering in the moment. Last card. Inside looking out. Look and listen at the needs that your body is telling you. Pain is information, and so pay attention to the places in your body where you feel pain. Um, personally, I carry a lot of stress in my shoulders and in my neck area. One thing that's helpful to do, if you can, do what you need to do to give that pain some relief. Your joints, your muscles, your tendons, your nerves, your neurons, your blood, your chemicals in your brain, all the places that you know are sources of pain need to be tended to and cared for and um, just kept safe. If you've been thinking about taking a break from social media, the next seven days look like a really good time to do it. Um, be okay of letting go of the need to know every single moment of chaos that is happening. Feel free to step away. Feel free to log off early. Feel free to move like two thirds speed slower than you usually would. Feel free not to answer um, an email for 24 whole hours. Feel free to leave your phone in a drawer in another room, in the bathroom maybe where you can't see it until like whatever anyway i'm 
I'm not your mom. And that is all I have for you this week.